What is going on guys, Judo Sloth here and today we got the sneak peek for the new defense, the Eagle Artillery. It was confirmed on the forum exclusive sneak peek that this would be upgradable to level 2 and as we zoom in, there it is in all of its glory. There's the Grand Warden as well from yesterday. Fantastic to see them standing side by side like that. But let's move on and go check out this new defense. So as the raid starts, the Grand Warden retreats into statue mode, but the Eagle Artillery is still just warming up. And this new defense will have unlimited range on the map, so it can shoot anywhere apart from right next to itself. Obviously all that power, it doesn't want that coming down on its own head, so it will act similar to the mortar. You can see that its head's popped off anyway now that there's 100 troops on the map, and it's charging up ready to go. Now this can shoot at ground or air troops and once the dragons get close enough you'll see it looks quite like the mortar actually, them three shells going up in the air and then coming right down on top of the dragons. So a little bit different to the animation we saw when Town Hall 11 was first introduced but still massive amounts of damage especially on them high hit point troops and ones clumped together because remember the eagle artillery does have a small splash damage radius. So that's it for the Eagle Artillery. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Remember, it won't activate until there is 100 troops on the map, but then it will rain down destruction on the attacker. So in terms of strategy, I would personally be putting this into the core of your base because although it has unlimited range, you don't want a kill squad of less than 100 troops being able to take it out quite easily, especially if they can get other key defences down within that. So it might actually be that we see some nice troll bases with the Eagle Artillery out to the side, people going in with a kill squad to try and get it, but... Whoops, all the traps and Teslas are in the way, unlucky, we'll just have to wait and see what people come up with. In terms of attacking this thing, the Witches level 3 will be a good help, especially with them extra skeletons, so the multi infernos I feel will be key. In order to keep your base quite varied, so you'll have the Eagle Artillery attacking the high damage troops and the high HP troops, but then your multi infernos to defend against all the skeletons and little troops. But also the Grand Warden, if you could time that invincibility for after the artillery is shot into the air, just before it comes down, that thing will go from doing huge damage to no damage. So let me know how you feel you're going to attack this thing, or how you're going to use it for defense. I'd be interested to see what people say, but ultimately once the update drops and we can get attacking this thing, I'm sure lots of strategies will come up. So that wraps it up for the video today guys, I've been your host Judo Sloth, make sure to subscribe for more Clash content and until next time, peace out guys. Stay tuned for more Clash of Clans.